Hello my Soka Universe. Well, it's time for the last video on the international break in September 2019 and what I want to do is I want to look at where are things now in the standings in the groups who is likely to qualify and what actually does this mean for the uh, playoffs that we will have because you know there's a new mode with the Nations League ranking and how this gets filled up and who is playing whom so uh, that will be the main goal of this video to really once more illustrate and I have done it but I think I've now be, uh, made better graphics to illustrate how is it actually working it's actually good to see uh, a scenario that seems at the moment realistic um, yes I will have to make some judgment calls I will go through the groups I will say who do I think is likely to advance in the top two spots some groups are extremely close to call uh, and if i couldn't call them i went straight to the bookies and looked there uh, who are the odds on favorites so uh, nothing is set in stone here of course yet but i think we will get a good picture of how the playoffs might develop so let's start out um, the first here we just see uh, the Nations League ranking. So we see League A, uh, Portugal won it, Netherlands second, up until Iceland in spot 12. Then League B, uh, Bosnia, Ukraine, Denmark, Sweden would currently be in the playoff spots. Uh, in League C, it would be the top four, Scotland, Norway, Serbia and Finland. Uh, in League D, Georgia, uh, Northern Macedonia, Kosovo with a really weird FIFA country code, although I think they, they are changing it now to Kos, but I think uh, up until recently it was KVX and then uh, Belarus is the fourth one. So let's run through the group and then we'll see how the Nations League ranking plays in there. Um, the first group is Group A and I only display the teams that I personally think have a chance of qualifying and this is in this case England, top spot, flawless so far with one game less. Uh, and 12 points so England is for sure a shoe in uh, and then I think it's between the Czechs and Kosovo um, given that the Czechs have a home game against Kosovo I think it will be the Czechs who will advance so I'll put them up there and uh, uh, blank them out more or less in the Nations League ranking. In Group B um, similar situation I think Ukraine, Portugal, Serbia are the three teams. Ukraine seems to be a certainty and I also think that Portugal will make it. Serbia has a really uh, steep uphill battle they definitely will need a win in ukraine so we have ukraine and portugal from that one group c uh looks a little bit um weird at the moment um as we already talked northern ireland has up until uh this week only played the minnows in this group uh and now they have three games left against one against germany two against the netherlands for that reason i think of course it will be germany in the netherlands um advancing and I actually think it will be the Netherlands in first and Germany in second. Group D, that's the really tight one and at the moment Ireland leads with 11 points ahead of Denmark 9, Switzerland 8. Switzerland has one game less so I would say Switzerland uh, is still the favorite to get out of this group and then it's between Ireland and Denmark. Um, and I think just because Denmark has been so consistently beating Ireland over the past few years that it will still be Denmark who will advance from this group. Group E, incredibly tight, incredibly tight to call that one. Um, Croatia, Slovakia, Hungary, Wales. Um, 10, 9, 9, 6. Um, I honestly think that Hungary's loss to uh, Slovakia put them in a big dis dis disadvantage. If they would have gotten a result out of there, I actually might have put Hungary. I also think that Wales has still a decent chance, but I think at the moment Slovakia is the team that looks uh, among those three to qualify. I still think that Croatia will pull through in this one. Group F, uh, similar tight except for on, on, on top, Spain is flawless, so Spain will stay on top. Then we have Sweden, Romania, Norway. Um, Romania and Norway will give Sweden a battle. I still think Sweden will prevail. They, are, they have the experience, they are a battle-hardened team. They will get through this. 
Group G, that's the only group where I have five teams that still have a realistic chance of qual qualifying. Um, but I, and I don't say it's the best group in any way. It's, I, I wouldn't even say it's the tightest group, but if I think this is the only group where I, I cannot say that Israel is out, uh, definitely. It will be hard for them. Same from Northern Macedonia. Uh, realistically, it's between the top three, Poland, Slovenia and Austria. Austria has a home against, home, uh, away game against uh, Slovenia. That might be the one thing that makes it not so sure, but uh, given everything I've seen so far and given that Poland and Austria just played a nil-nil draw and seem to be probably the best teams, although Slovenia never discount them. They have a pretty darn good team. I still would say at the moment, Poland and Austria to advance from from this group, but this is anything but a given here. Group H, um, I would have actually said France and Iceland before Iceland lost to Albania. Uh, now it seems Turkey and France will make this one. Iceland will have a steep uphill battle to make it uh, through Albania outside chance. They really need to get a result in Turkey. So uh, from the way it looks now, it's uh, France and Turkey in that order. Because uh, I think France will win uh, the home game against Turkey. Uh, group I, we already know the qual qualifiers. I mean, it's not a mathematical certainty yet, but I don't see anyone but Belgium and Russia advancing from that one. And then Group J, Italy, Finland, Armenia, uh, Bosnia. And I'm lenient here. I could have made a similar argument as for Group I. I think it's Italy and Finland. I think... For Bosnia and Armenia, it will be a hard task to catch Finland. Italy, I think, is sailing through. Uh, so this gives those 20 teams with Italy through, by the way. I looked at the schedule. The opener of Euro 2020 is in Rome. Should Italy qualify, uh, Rome and Azerbaijan are a group pairing. Italy will play a home game. And unless the first game is against Azerbaijan, where we need to have a draw, it is very likely that Italy will be opening the Euros. I just wanted to say that uh, we'll have a whole video on the draw procedure as well, because as we said, if home teams qualify, they will put into will be put into the group of uh, the country that is hosting that group um, with a draw held between if uh, both teams from a group uh, from uh, a group that have home stadiums will qualify. But yeah, that's for later on. So now we have 20 teams that I think will qualify as we have here. And now we need to fill up the spots uh, for the playoffs that are below. And for that, we're gonna go through the leagues, uh, league A, B, C, D, and take, if possible, the top four spots. If we cannot fill the four spots, we leave them empty for now. This especially applies for League A, where we have only Iceland, so we will put Iceland A1. Uh, for League B, we have four teams. We have Bosnia, we have Wales, we have Ireland, we have Northern Ireland, so we will put Bosnia against Northern Ireland, Wales against Ireland. Then Group C, similarly, we have four teams. We have Scotland, Norway, Serbia, and Bulgaria. So we have Scotland, Bulgaria, Norway against Serbia. And then in League D, we take just the top four. Uh, we have Georgia against Belarus. We have uh, Northern Macedonia against the Kosovo. Now, League B, C, D were easily filled. Now, the question is, how do we get the last three spots? And for that, we need to kind of blank the teams that have been selected. And then it is fairly easy. We will fill these remaining spots, the remaining three spots, with the first three teams that are still available. And if you look at it, this is Israel, Hungary, and Romania. So we get Iceland against Romania and Israel against Hungary. Those will be your qualifying playoffs if things pan out the way I projected here. Uh, of course, uh, if Iceland was, if uh, Group A, uh, League A was completely empty, then we would do it the same way. It's just that we would have a League B team that we would have to fill up there too. So the fill-in is always first go through League A, choose, choose all the League A teams and don't and leave empty. If, then do the same for League B, C and D. Then for League A, take the next to fill up the remaining spots. If there are spots in League B, take the next one and so on and so on. Um, I went through a few scenarios and one thing I can say for sure, certain that Romania is the, high, the lowest ranked League C team that has a shot at a playoff spot. 
Uh, Greece, Albania, Montenegro, Cyprus, Estonia, Slovenia and Lithuania have no chance of getting in through the Nations League into the playoffs. On the other hand, Luxembourg, Armenia, Azerbaijan and Kazakhstan have outside chances and I, I would say only realistically Luxembourg if the Kosovo should make it because all the other three will not get a playoff spot. Lastly, uh, how will the playoffs be played? Well, the seeded teams, so A1, A2, B1, B2 and so on, will have a one-legged home game against the opponent. So we will have Iceland play at home against Romania and then Israel at home against Hungary, if we just take the League A playoffs here. Um, and then it will be a draw who of the winners will have a home game, which I personally don't like that much. I would actually say that the higher seed should have the home game, but okay, UEFA said we'll have the home game this way. It's complicated, but not that complicated once you realize how things are working out. If you really have this standing, it's relatively easy to fill up. You just need to go through the motions. I'm planning to do this now uh, in October as well. Probably we have some qualified teams then already, so um, we can actually start up out uh, not with an empty slate, but have already some qualified teams there uh, and see how things are going. And you know, the playoffs will be changing around a little bit every time. Let me know what you think. If you think those are the playoffs, whether you think there's some other combinations that might happen, I'd be interested to see this. As I said, this is the one that looks most likely to me now, but I went to three or four others um, and you know, you get different players, but uh, the system is, rather, is always the same. And then I decide, okay, let's go what the book is saying. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and found it um, full of information for you. Uh, Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more on European qualifiers, Nations League. We have Champions League and the European Leagues come coming up. Um, I will probably do one more short video from the short spec there uh, soon. And yeah, I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, consider subscribing to my channel to keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day. Bye.